Pearl, the prequel to T. West's X, follows the origin of its murderous titular character. We break down the ending and what it all really means. Pearl's ending isn't a shock considering all the people she had already killed throughout the horror film, but it does reveal how the eponymous character turned into the bitter, youth and fame-hungry killed viewers know from X. With that in mind, here is the ending explained, including why Howard decided to stay, and what films influenced Pearl's specific look. The movies that influenced T. West's Pearl, while Texas Chainsaw Massacre, served as a major inspiration for the film X, Pearl takes its cues from an entirely different era of Hollywood productions. T. West pays tribute to the Technicolor classics from the 1950s, and notably The Wizard of Oz and Mary Poppins. Even the font is done in the manner of that era's horror movies. Pearl and Dorothy are comparable in some ways in The Wizard of Oz. Both of them are farm workers who wind up going to unexpected areas. While Pearl is more obviously violent, the character and Dorothy both feel stuck in a place they don't want to be Dorothy and Oz and Pearl on her family's farm. Both The Wizard of Oz and Mary Poppins are alive with color, and Pearl keeps to that brightness to juxtapose with the deadly actions of its main character. Why Howard stays with Pearl after returning to the farm. Fans now know, according to X, that Howard chooses to remain with Pearl, and the two are married for a very long time. In Pearl, Howard spends the majority of the time fighting in World War I, which is already almost over when the movie begins. He knows full well that while his absence, his wife turned into a serial killer. Despite the fact that Howard appears to be terrified of Pearl, it's possible that he sticks by her because he can tell she's not feeling well. He might have remained because he didn't want to become like his in-laws, who were both murdered by Pearl throughout the course of the movie. Many people are motivated by fear, and Howard is no exception. There is clearly a lot of love between the pair, and Howard may have felt pity and loyalty towards Pearl. His decision to stay not only protected him from being killed, but he was in a position to keep others away from the farm, far away from Pearl's killer tendencies. Why she's so drawn to stardom, Pearl despises being a country girl. There is nowhere to go and nowhere to grow, therefore she believes it to be a trap. Pearl's heart longs for more, even though she is practically trapped where she is. She believes she is unique, and her perception of herself along with her dancing prowess is what propels her to fame. Pearl feels there is more to her than just being a homemaker who is married and takes care of a farm. For her, fame is an escape from her mundane life and a symbol of freedom. Additionally, Pearl yearns for sexual liberation, which is why she is drawn to the projectionist, has a sexual encounter with him, and has a climactic moment on top of a scarecrow. The horror film showcased how Pearl was deprived of the attention and love she so desperately sought elsewhere, and stardom would have given her that attentiveness, as well as the feeling of being seen and seemingly understood by strangers who could potentially fern over her and appreciate her talent when no one at home clearly did. Pearl is also lonely and isolated, with the Spanish flu making its rounds in the US, cutting her off from others even further. Despite her horrific actions, there is no denying that Pearl is a murderer. The main character is vengeful and will kill everyone who is in her way of achieving her goals. Pearl prioritizes fame and independence over all else. Pearl may be a murderer, but Mia Goth's monologue at the scene just before she murders Mitzi is moving and depressing. One can't help but feel a twinge of sadness for Pearl, especially since she recently misplaced a one ticket that could have gotten her out of the situation she finds herself in. The character's complex emotions, desperation, and desire to flee, combine with her impression of innocent naivety to elicit sympathy. It's clear Pearl doesn't quite understand herself and struggles with her actions. She does things out of frustration and anger, but can't quite wrap her head around the reasons behind her bloody lashing out. Pearl's actions are nonetheless horrific, but they remain tinged with pity, as the character's desperation for attention and love grow to murderous rampages that cannot be excused. The idea of repression lies at the center of Pearl. This prevents Pearl from pursuing actual stardom and allowing her to enjoy sexual freedom. Pearl is tied down in many ways be it through guilt, having been raised in a stern household that values and promotes her repression or loyalty to her absent husband. After all, Pearl could have gone to California to be in the moving pictures despite being rejected from the dance troupe. It wasn't her only chance to escape her life, but Pearl sure felt that way. Quelling her desires and feeling like she couldn't break out of the box her life had put her in ultimately pushed her to anger, frustration, and resentment. These feelings, in turn, led to her becoming a murderer, killing the people she felt stood in her way or who somehow prevented her from becoming who she was meant to be. Furthermore, Pearl's repression, now internalized, is what keeps her on the farm even after she kills almost everybody in her life. 